Hi friends, welcome back to another week of music. This is our last week of a full lesson for music. So in other words, this is the last week that you have to turn something in on Seesaw for this class, for music class. Then after that, you're gonna have a fun activity to do next week and then that's it. And then that's the end of school for the year. So you're so close, keep working hard. I'm so proud of you guys. All right, let's get into our do now. Question is, how many sounds does this note have? First of all, what's the name of this note? TT, that's right. But what's its real name? Do you remember what its real name is? Two eighth notes, that's right. See, it was in there, it was in that brain somewhere. Two eighth notes. So how many sounds does two eighth notes have? Two, that's right. One, two, two sounds. Good job. Okay, here's what we can do this week. We can use our singing voices, listen to a new animal from Carnival of the Animals, and research and recall animal characteristics. Ready? Hello. How do you do? Glad that you could come. Nice to see you. Glad you're here. See you again tomorrow. Okay, question today is, what are you looking forward to doing once you're done with school this year? Now, I know there isn't a lot that we can do, like go to the amusement park, because of what's going on in the world and we have to social distance, but there are still some fun things that you can look forward to doing. So what are you looking forward to doing? I'll tell you what I'm looking forward to. I am looking forward to exploring more of the neighborhood and finding some really cool places to hang out. So like, Found out that there's this really awesome park near my apartment. I'm looking forward to going exploring there, going to the lake, all those things that I can do without being near a lot of people, but still being outside. I'm excited to try those out. So what are you looking forward to doing? Okay, let's get into Carnival of the Animals now. The last animal that we are going to be looking at for the year is the aquarium. Tell me, what's an aquarium? Yeah, it's the place where all the animals who live underwater, that's where they're put, indoors. So, so maybe you've gone to the aquarium around in here in Dallas, or maybe in Fort Worth, I don't know, wherever you've been to an aquarium, and you walk through it and you've seen all the animals that live underwater, all the different fish and maybe some whales and some dolphins. Ooh, lots of animals live underwater and maybe you've seen them, a lot of them. <laughs> okay, here's our poem. Some fish are minnows, some are whales. People like dimples, fish like scales. Some fish are slim, and some are round. They don't get cold. They don't get drowned. But every fishwife fears for her fish. What we call mermaids, they call merfish. <laughs> That's a silly poem. Okay. We are going to move like we are in an aquarium. Not like we're walking through it, but like we're one of the animals in the aquarium. So that means we're not gonna be walking. How are we gonna be moving? Let's think. We have to be swimming, cause fish swim. But how do we swim outside of the water? This is a chance for you to get creative in how you move. You ready? Let's be in an aquarium.
All right, hopefully we had a lot of fun and figure out how to move like a fish in an aquarium outside of the water. Now let's go look at our chart from last week. I filled it in with most of the things that you guys said. So we had kangaroos last week and we said that their size was medium and that they are fast. And a lot of good answers for their habitat. So we have Australia, a savanna, forests, plains, and woodlands. So that their diet, those herbivores, they only eat plants, they don't eat other animals. Now personality, <laughs> that was a fun one to read. You guys said friendly and quiet, but apparently we also think that they're a little bit mean. <laughs> and they're dependable either way. Then their physical characteristics, this is what they look like. They have a pouch. They have long legs. They're brown or they're tan. And they have big, powerful feet. Maybe that's why we think that they're mean, because sometimes we see videos of kangaroos kicking. So maybe that's why we think that they're mean. I don't know. And then for the CSS at the end, we said that we heard the piano, we heard them playing, and we heard them jumping or hopping. That's really good, guys. Good things to add to our chart. We are going to add to the aquarium. So we're going to do the same thing. Things in an aquarium. What size are they? What's their speed? Are they fast? Are they slow? Where do they live? What's their habitat? What's their diet? Do they eat other animals or do they eat plants or do they eat both? What's their personality? How do they act? What are their physical characteristics? This is what do they look like? And CSS, what did we hear in the music? It could be the instruments that we heard, or it could be when we were listening, we imagined that they were doing something. So what did we hear? I'll play the aquarium one more time so that you have something to reference when you're drilling in your chart.
Okay, friends, that's all for this week. I hope you had fun and I hope you all are being safe, being careful, being healthy, all that stuff. I cannot wait to see you again. I can't wait to see your responses on Seesaw. <laughs> Hang in there, guys. You're almost done with the school year. I'm so proud of all of you. All right. See you later, friends. Bye.